Okay, guys, here's example number two. This endgame is um, just a king and pawn ending, but we have what's known as an outside pass pawn. I'm going to get rid of the hint because you can read it on your own when you get there. And again, I'd advise you guys to practice these first and then watch my tutorial. I want to see what you do on your own. And if you struggle, then you can check out what I'm doing if it helps. But I really want you guys to be able to do this without any uh, information from me uh, in the long run. You know, for now, no worries. Okay, what do we have here? Our A pawn is a monster. And I love chess because there are times in chess where things change drastically think about the beginning of the game everybody's so excited about the e pawns right everybody wants to talk about the center the a pawn ah maybe i'll come here and block a bishop that's possible the h pawn oh, i'll come here and kick a bishop or prevent a pin they usually don't get that much play the outside pawns until things get traded and occasionally you'll get a position like you have here where black is completely lost and they're in trouble all because of our friend the a2 pawn there is nothing on this side that can stop this pawn except for the king but black is going to have a problem what is our plan we're going to walk our king up the board and threaten moves like king d6 because if we can get to e7 these pawns are going to fall like apples can they run away from our king at first yes but it only takes a couple of moves to chase them down now the black king oop did i actually just make a move i think i did i don't think my king started there oh look at that all right they they still think my move is okay i didn't mean to do that but okay we'll play from this position now this king needs to protect these pawns but he also needs to stop this guy so what we're going to do is bring them up the board together with the idea of making a runaway with our king at the right moment uh you know what i think i'm going to stop him from getting a frisky and running up the board i'm just going to slow everything down on this side of the board okay centralize the king and wait be patient when you do this when the machine moves don't think that you have to move right away okay now where does he want to go next he wants to come here i'm not going to let him i'm going to start using my king and pawn together and threaten making a queen okay there we go we're going to start pushing it now because he doesn't have time to come in and come after this pawn. Because if he does, we're just going to start running wild up the street here. Now, here's a cool moment. If we push the pawn, he plays king here and takes it. And we may be able to sneak through this diagonal in time, but why take a chance? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another waiting move with my pawn. And because we have the extra pawn, we should be able to get this pawn uh, this king rather to move before we have to move okay and now a protection move just keep this pawn protected and i'm doing my best aha now the king has made his decision he thinks he has enough time to come in and take our stuff which he might he may actually have some time there but i think our queen is going to be fast if i push the pawn he comes here that's not going to help him Okay, he's probably going to come in and go for these pawns. That's my guess. If he comes back, all right, he kind of wasted a move. So now we just protect our pawn and get his king to move again. Our next move is a6 if he lets us. Okay, now if we do it right away, he can come here with his king. So what do we do? We just come here. Notice that I'm not taking his pawn because then he'll take back and he might be able to make a pass pawn. If he does what he did by taking, now he cannot make a passed pawn. If he pushes the pawn, we just take it. And that was our whole goal. Now we can start working our king up the board. Don't forget about this guy. See the problem the black king has? He can't be in two places at the same time. 
Do we have to react to this? We could. I think we could just take it and run. We can also just play this move as well. Taking was probably better. But you know what? I just see a clear win. Yeah, the machine wants me to take. Go away. I see you. And I'll just take this. And that's it. I'm going to take his pawns. I don't care about this now. Well, I kind of care, but, you know, let him take it, right? We come here. Now, if I'm playing with a clock, by the way, let's say I have one second left on my clock, but I have a five-second delay. Before making a queen, I'll take black's last pawn. Yeah, 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 I know. You don't like my move. The reason I would take black's last pawn is now if for some strange reason I run out of time, I can't lose. It would be a draw because you have to have mating material in order to win a game. So if black has one pawn on the board and I run out of time, it's over. Now, it's, it is kind of sad because he can't stop both pawns. He can have one of them, but I'm not going to let him have both. So we don't even need these two, right? We're just going to make a queen and win the game. And I'll do that. Uh, for those of you, I really shouldn't have to do this, but for those of you who still have a little trouble with a queen and king checkmate, I will show it to you. Make a queen. Make sure there's no stalemate. And I'm going to have a little fun here. I actually want to show you guys something. Um, I'm going to get this king to the frame of the board with my queen. And in a tournament, the fastest way to win would just be, you know, make a second queen and mate this guy. But I want to show you a pattern with queen and knight real quick. All right, he only has one move. Come on. And I'm going to promote this pawn to a knight, which I would never do in a tournament. I would just, you know, walk the king up or make another queen and mate. But I'm doing it because, again, I want to show you a little pattern that some of you have learned. You know, if you come to the classes early... Now, I'm going to make this a knight, and the machine's going to get upset. Watch. Knight, come on. Where's the sign? Oops. Come on. No, he doesn't do it. All right. Now, watch this. If you leave a king with only two squares and bring the knight, you see this little box I'm making here? No closer than this line, which is the fourth line from where the king is. Look, one, two, three, four. If you put the knight on any one of these four squares, it can't be stalemate, but it will be checkmate, probably on the next move. It's just a little pattern I want you to learn. So we cut the king off, then we only let him shuttle between two squares, and then we bring our knight to one of these four. There it is. Okay, this happens to be mate into this pattern. Can you see it? Two move checkmate. We give a check with the queen, and then we give a check with the knight. Game over. Okay? All right. I hope that helped. I'll see you guys in class.